Skull and Violets has had its second patch update. The 1.1.0 has released now. It coincided with the Charizard 7 Star Raid event. To take part in any online facilities, you're going to have to install this new patch. But what are the changes? We're going to go through everything in today's video and give you the lowdown of how things have changed going into the game with this new patch. But before we do, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. Now, we covered all the details on the patch notes over on the Nintendo website. We know there was an issue with how online battles were being seeded. The RNG was exactly the same no matter what battle it was. Now, with the ranked one battle season starting on the 2nd of December, they had to update this before the ranked ladder went live. And this looks like this has been fixed. So players going online now will have the benefit of having a new seed generated for every single match. So you aren't able to predict exactly what RNG will occur during a match and moves missing and things like that. It's all been fixed for battles online. Obviously, if you want to take part in the ranked ladder online for the battles, you can check out all the details as it mentions here in the poker portal. We did mention there was an issue when you battled the Elite Four and the music not playing alongside in these final battles. This has been patched in and fixed as well, so that is no longer an issue. And the other selected bug fixes that they're talking about fixing, there actually has been quite a few. The big one that the talking point that everyone's been talking about is the duplication glitch. Has this been patched? And yes, it has been patched. You are no longer able to duplicate items in your game once you have made this patch update. Although you can still duplicate items if you have kept a copy of your duplicated ride Pokemon. The process was to duplicate your ride Pokemon and then switch the duplicated ride Pokemon with the original ride Pokemon while they're holding items and then you can go into your boxes and remove the item and then do the same process over again and just keep duplicating items every single time that you do this now if you kept a copy of your duplicated legendary pokemon you are still actually going to be able to do this duplication you are no longer able to have your ride pokemon in its battle form sent to the box which duplicates it meaning that the whole process right now is not achievable but like i say if you have kept a copy of that ride legendary you will be able to then take it out of your box put it into your party and then use that method to switch your battle mode ride legendary with the ride legendary and duplicate items that way but as soon as you do remove the ride legendary the duplicated one from your game you'll no longer be able to do this you're still going to have access to the picnic glitch where you can duplicate items by placing the picnic basket over a sparkling item that is still in the games as well but they have improved the camera angles when you go into games your pa camera pan is not going to go into the ground the shadowing of different areas when you enter a cave system and things like that has been changed and the overall performance does seem to have had an update so there are some positives that come from this patch than we initially thought there is still an issue anubis one of the community's best data miners has mentioned that there is an issue still running with the ribbon marks on the display of your pokemon uh, the ribbon mark display is still bugged in 1.1.0 you'll still have to look for the missing message on the ribbon screen to know which pokemon you have ribbons and marks on i have several people tell me that charizard didn't have a mark because of this bug so you actually you can't see the ribbon mark uh, or get the options of it when you're in your boxes. You have to adjust these when you are in your kind of your main party screen. And that is the only way when you go into the summary screen, then you can look at the marks or the ribbons that your Pokemon have. And this hopefully will be something that will be updated in a future patch. I don't suspect this is going to be the only patch that we get. There are still a bunch of things that do need to be fixed. So hopefully that is something that we see an update on soon. We've already seen from the patch notes that they are acknowledging the issues in performance with the game and I would imagine even with this patch there have been big improvements with a lot of the performance so hopefully that does continue going forward but for those of you that have been enjoying that item duplication glitch that is no longer a thing like I say if you've released that duplicated legendary Pokemon that you had you're no longer going to be able to do this method at all and unfortunately that is me so hopefully we will get some more duplication glitches I'm pretty sure we'll get a new one very soon and as soon as we do we'll cover on the channel so for all of you on 1.1.0 you'll be able to access this facility in the future this is a quick one today friends thank you so much for tuning in i hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time take care of yourselves and bye bye